Hello again guys and welcome to the day. I'm getting an extraordinarily late start to the day and to the video this morning and for no real good reason. Since we've been back from vacation, for whatever reason I've been going to bed late. Before vacation, with a broken foot and everything, I was going to bed at like 10 or 10.30 p.m. every night and since vacation it's been like midnight, 12.30. Ouch which has made it insanely difficult to actually get up in the mornings, which has made it difficult to do things during the day. And I guess getting my brain back out of that vacation mode and back into everyday life, let's get stuff done mode has been difficult. We'll put it that way. So I got up this morning, I got the baby ready. I, I got them out the door and everything. Even though he does still have pink eye, he's on medication. They said he's not supposed to be contagious anymore. They said it would be safe to send him back to daycare. So we did. But after I got them out the door, I was just so tired. I was so beat that I just lay down on the couch and fell asleep until right before my morning meeting, which is dumb. And I've spent a large part of the rest of the day so far, which, you know, it's just afternoon right now. I haven't had lunch yet. I have showered. I've not even shaved because I, I don't know. But I've spent a large part of the rest of the day trying to figure out what GoPro to buy, which seems like a waste of time. I know. It seems like a lot of time investment for who knows what. Realistically, I want to buy both of the new GoPros because they both look amazing. I've got the GoPro Hero 4 session, which is now just called the GoPro Hero session. I love that camera. I use it all the time. I think it's over in the drawer over there right now. Or I was going to pick it up and show. Love that little camera. And so I obviously want to try out the Hero 5 session because it's supposed to be so much better. Much better quality video, much better quality audio, and you can use an external audio adapter with it, which is even better, and it still has that teeny tiny form factor. But then at the same time, I was reading up on it. It's like, well, the Hero 5 Black, or just the Hero 5, I don't know what they're calling this one. It's $100 more but supposedly it has much, much better low light capabilities, the same kind of video capabilities, maybe even better, just better quality because it's got a bigger sensor. Same sort of external audio support, which is really nice if you want to pay their $50 price for their USB Type-C converter adapter. USB Type-C to 3.5 millimeter. That's another topic we'll get back to. But I've been going back and forth on which one I want to pick up. Obviously, it makes more sense to pick up the Hero 5 Black with the Karma drone, but I'm still kind of up in the air as to whether or not I want to pick that one up now that I've pre-ordered the DJI Mavic. The Mavic is going to address the majority of my needs in terms of drone flying and ultra high quality footage with teeny tiny portability size. So the Karma drone would basically just be buying it for the handheld stabilizer and buying it for being able to put the same GoPro, the same camera, onto the drone. I'm just not sure if that's entirely worthwhile for me. I haven't been on the deck in a while, quick scene change. So realistically, the biggest reason that I would be going for the Karma drone at that point would just be to get that Karma grip. And that Karma grip's like a $300 investment. And while it does look amazing, I don't know if it's worth that $300 investment. When the stabilization on the new GoPros is so good anyway, that you could almost just put it on a stick. I've got a little GoPro mount stick and have pretty decent stable footage. And the wind is blowing, so it's probably not filming very well out here. So again, my dilemma there comes down to Hero 5 or Hero 5 Session. It's $100 difference. I obviously want the Hero 5 instead. But do I go ahead and buy the Hero 5 Session now and then buy the Karma Drone with the Hero 5 later? Because apparently the Karma Drone comes with the harness for the Hero 5 as well as the harness for the Hero 5 Session. So it doesn't matter which way you buy it. You can use it with either camera. You just have to swap out the little harness on the end, which is really, really cool. So what I'm tempted to do is to hunt down a Hero 5 Session go ahead and pay the $300 to get it, even though the video quality is not going to be quite as good, test it out for all the normal things I would use a GoPro for, maybe even test it out as a vlogging camera, and then once the Karma drone is available, decide if I want to pick it up with the Hero 5 Black. It's going to be a total of like a $1,500 investment doing it that way, which is a lot of money to invest, but money's not something we really need to discuss here. My finances are in order. So I don't know. I've been kind of up and down and I'm back and forth about it. I've been looking at my local stores just to see if anybody locally has it because I don't really have the time to drive out and go hunt it down in like Lexington or, or Louisville or wherever else. And it looks like there is a sort of local store that does have both of them in stock, but I don't have the time to go get it. So it's either order it online and have it show up in a couple of days or try to find the time to go pick it up tonight or or tomorrow, my impatience sets in. My impatience kicks in. Because realistically, what I want to do is go out there tonight or tomorrow and pick up just the Hero 5, pay $400, get it right now, get amazing quality footage, possibly even, and this is going back to what I was talking about earlier, pick up that $7 USB Type-C to 35 millimeter adapter on Amazon and see if that will work in place of the $50 GoPro accessory, because GoPro makes one that has a 90 degree adapter that goes to 35 millimeter. I would much rather pay $7 for one and have it maybe work. And there's music playing. I'm going to go back inside because it's time for lunch. And I'm actually in a little bit of a hurry to get through with my lunch and everything because 
It is already almost 1 p.m. and I have a meeting, a staff meeting, an all-hands meeting. I have to do it online, so it's not a big deal, but it's at 1.30. So, like I said, I've wasted the majority of the day so far, unfortunately. I've got to try to get buckled down and actually start getting things done before the meeting, because right after the meeting, Duncan's going to be getting off the bus, and then we've got to go get Ellis, and then, we'd, and then, and then, and then, yeah, long day ahead. So yeah, a little while later, about 2.45, meeting just ended, and I may or may not have just spent money. I took a little bit of time between lunch and the meeting and just laid out all of the options. And this is sort of just an oversimplification of the different ways that all of the things could be purchased over time. So you've got the Hero 5, which is about $400, the Session, which is about $300, the Karma itself with just the harnesses for $800, the Karma with the Hero 5 built in for $1,100, and the Session combo, which is the Karma plus the Hero 5 Session. I don't think that's actually going to be available till next year, and it's 1000 and looking at the price differences, it ranges from $1,200 to $1,500. $1,200 is if you just buy the Hero 5 and the Karma separately. It's $1,100 if you just buy the Hero 5 and Karma together, but that's not available yet. Not even available for pre-order as far as I'm aware. So after that little bit of homework that I did and just a lot of consideration, it's a grand total of $100 difference between any of the options. We're basically to end up with all three of the items, the Hero 5, the Hero 5 Session, and the Karma Drone. It's either $1,400 if you buy it in the right order, or $1,500 if you buy everything separately, which would make for a bunch of separate videos for me, which is a good thing. So $100 difference to do that, and then on top of it, Best Buy is having a deal. Retail price for the two cameras, but each camera comes with a 32 gig micro SD card that's ultra fast. Now what I was super tempted to do was to go ahead and actually just order the Hero 5 and the Session. It's like $700 to do that right now, and it would come with two 32 gig micro SD cards. I did not do that, and I probably should, but I, just thinking about how many action cameras are in the house right now and how many I can actively use at a time, I went ahead and just ordered the Hero 5 Black. It's $400, actually like $430 or something, including tax. It comes with that micro SD card, which is actually a $30 to $40 micro SD card that they've got marked down to $25 that they are, like I said, including for free. Apparently on release day they were including a 64 gig micro SD card with it, so it kind of stinks that I missed that, but I just, different times, didn't really think that I was going to pick it up at all, so my own mistake there. At least it does come with a card, which actually kind of offsets the tax there. So I've gone ahead and placed that order. I just got an email a couple of minutes ago from Best Buy saying that it's ready to pick up. I talked to Christina, and she actually was saying she needed to go out and pick up baby food for Ellis. She was just going to go to the local grocery store and do it, but she would much rather go to one of the stores in Lexington and do it, so what we're going to do once she gets home, we're going to have a quick dinner, run out to Lexington, pick stuff up, and tonight I will have GoPro Hero 5 Black. Not to say that I can actually make a video about it tonight, but I will have it here prepared to actually unbox it on camera tomorrow. And it's about three minutes until I need to get Duncan off the bus, so I'll probably have to put some shoes on and go do that. And oh look, this one has made it home. He had his shoes off, he's putting them back on already because we're going to go hunt some Pokemon jams and get Pokeballs and whatever else. And then we've got to get Ellis, get back here, have some dinner, and like I said, head out to Lexington. And hooray, we are all home at this point. And ooh, looks like we're back on the Home Chef. We took a little time off from this because of the vacation, but back on it firmly. Oh, churro French toast. With Nutella drizzle and breakfast sausage links. Woo! So that's some of the French toast and some of the churro stuff and some of the Nutella. The sausages are in the oven. Sausage. Oh, and there's even sausages and they're blurry. Yeah, there's sausages now, kind of. So a very quick, delicious dinner, and then we will run out to all sorts of stores to get baby things and Best Buy. And this little one is just in a super good mood. He was taking a super long nap whenever I got him from daycare. And his eyes still looks kind of rough, kind of red, and kind of oozing. But we put more of the medicine in it, so hopefully Continuing to get better, little by little. Oh, and it is complete. We got some sausages, we got a ridiculous amount of French toast, and Nutella. Food consumed, and away we go! Best Buy trip completed. Went ahead and just skipped right over it. It's a little bit of a pain, I'll put it that way. But GoPro Hero 5 Black, gone ahead and picked it up. As well as the SanDisk Extreme Plus 32 gigabyte, 95 megabytes per second, fast SD card, micro SD card. So I can actually open it up right now, hook it up, and start... You No, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to be turning that into a video. The funny thing is that when I went into to Best Buy to pick this up, I told the girl what I'd ordered, she went back there and grabbed something, came back out, and it's like, 
nope, it was not this. It was the, the Hero 5 Session. I said, I, I almost ordered that earlier, but no, that's, that's not what I ordered. So she ended up having to go to the back of the store and actually pull one off the shelf and bring it back up to me to make sure that I got the right thing. So glad we were able to get that worked out. And for now, we are at the Baby's R Us, which the parking lot for which is com almost completely empty. Christine has gone in to pick up some food for the Baby, and maybe able to tell there. It's a very pretty sunset. I'm super tempted to drive over to the other side of the parking lot just to be able to see this better. Maybe I will. There's a slightly better view of the sunset. Not bad. Not bad at all. Just wanted to share that with you guys. And yeah, as I was saying, the rest of the parking lot, there's the baby store and there's nothing. <laughs> Which hopefully means it won't take her too long to get all the baby food and whatnot. Either way, lovely sunset. Absolutely enjoying this for the moment. Um, she apparently bought all of the food that they had. Like, everything in the store. That's all of it. Wow. We just bought, bought everything. Baby food that they had. Every bit of baby food that was in the entire place. Ellis and Ellis is going to eat it before the week is up. <laughs> He's a hungry boy. Actually, I did get him two little outfits. I, there was a clearance section, so I just went through it real quick. Mm -hmm. well, the sunset got even better. I switched over to the iPhone, but the view is no less impressive. Now that we're over at, by the way, we're at Costco. Look at that. Actually, when we were over on the, the road over there, it was even more impressive. It's just massive. Look at that sunset. And then there's a mommy. And hey, we made it home. It's actually a little while later. Duncan's already been through the bath and gone to bed, and Ellis has had a couple of diapers and had his eye medicine and a bottle, and he's just a happy little guy. <laughs> much better than last night. Yeah, much, much better. It must have just been belly or something. We don't know. Oh, okay. That's what it was. So it was the eye. Okay. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Mama. Nope. That's not gonna happen. Poor mommy. But anyway, I think that's actually where things are gonna wrap up for today. We're gonna go ahead and get that little one into his pajamas and get him into bed, hopefully sometime soon. I'm gonna go ahead and get this video edited. I've got to go back and look through all my footage and see if there are any other videos that I can finish and upload because I didn't even put one out today. I am so far behind and I have so many awesome videos that are coming up on things that I've actually paid money for. So I've got to get back to it. So thank you guys as always for watching. Hopefully you had a wonderful day. I'm gonna have to shave tomorrow. We will see you then. Bye, guys.